Leg and Greg Vegan Camp, the 1st of January 2021. Happy New Year! Fruit from the garden every day. Now I need to pick a pie up there. And this is my tool of choice, a bamboo stick with more bamboo sticks and then you have the papaya. Even bamboo are dropping their leaves. Compared to other Christmas and New Year events, it has been very quiet because of COVID. And now there has been a more of a surge of COVID cases in Thailand. So now we like all the big events are closed or will not be held. So it's usually there's a lot of karaoke and stuff and during the night but now it's super quiet so some good things are will are are happening because of the misfortune of others a lot of salad leafy greens i have been eating <laughs> leafy green salad a big bowl every day because of these beds over here and behind over there and there's also another area a lot of salad. The Thai apple thing. But this time it's not sweet, but it still has like a rosy taste. Maybe it's not ripe yet, but when they look like this, it's um, usually ripe and hiding inside. The mulberry dome is uh, getting its shape. Some of them are almost ripe. Like this one. You can see how the dry season kicks in and the, 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 the weed turns from green to brown and dries out, withers. I also started cooking shoots of chaya with the rice. So if you have a, like a young shoot like this, you can break it off and just throw it into your rice. And that's pretty nice. Not too much because I'm still not sure about what happens with the cyanide thing. I've not felt any effects of having a bunch of these in my rice. Another area that needs uh, watering, I think this is the cauliflower, more leafy greens and salad. That papaya up there needs to be harvested. Some ground cherries. Take plants. Current compost pile. Just put the food scraps top and then put some new rice straw top of that and just let it sit and do its magic. As an experiment I tried to plant pumpkin here in the old rice straw hill but uh, where the old uh, are the pumpkin grew before and now we are only yielding one pumpkin here and, and I'm not even sure if it will uh, mature because you can see already here it seems like it's getting bad. I think we need to harvest this one soon and steam it or whatever. Or make the, some kind of curry with young pumpkin. And this is like the compost pile I used before. Also with branches and food scraps and rice straw. I will not plant pumpkin at the end of the rainy season again. Unless, of course, there is water. If there is water here, then it might be a different story. And the new rice straw hill. Probably will be a good area to plant pumpkin in the start of, in the beginning of the next rainy season. When you're on top of the rice straw hill, you have a nice view. The local temple over there, the faraway mountains over there, the 
nearby mountains over there and the white monk temple somewhere over there. Here is the area where in 2020 Lek tried to rent this area to plant chaya but it didn't succeed. It's because it's hard to maintain um, organic an organic area where you grow only chaya and th the business is just not ready to grow and harvest so much chaya at the moment and the neighboring area over there with mangoes and here are uh, our mangoes mango trees yeah what happened is with the very moist r rainy season and the f flowers withered the new flowers so maybe the flowers will come a little bit late this year Let's see. Yeah, and some of the mangoes have really many flowers and some have none. It's really strange. I mean, this small tree cannot it cannot handle so many flowers, so many mangoes. All these small things will be mangoes. Not possible in a small tree like that. And these look very healthy also, these flowers on this tree. But yeah, like this big tree is getting flowers. But this is nice, also here, and over there. One of my favorite papayas is being eaten, I need to get it. But as you can see, birds are hungry too. But these two papaya trees have been really nice to me this year. Also actually these are also quite nice. But yeah, we, oh, yes, look! <laughs> oh my god, yes, very nice, very nice, and you know, I don't spot them if I don't go in here. I think I can see everything from outside, but you need to go really close. These are also very mega nice, and it's like this is almost too much. And there are like I already ate papaya today, you know. So these are huge papayas. I mean, some people can eat a half of half papaya, and then that's enough. But if you eat papaya every every single day, and a lot of it, then at some point it will just get. Too much papaya, like too much banana, too much of everything. But yeah, it's nice, I don't complain. It's nice, it's very good. Also good for the compost. The, the papaya I just harvested here, it's also ready to eat, but I want to save it a little bit, but it's, re it's ready to eat, so it's... If I can eat it, I will eat it today, but otherwise I hope it will not go bad before tomorrow. When papayas are ready to eat, they don't last long before they go bad. The sweetness disappears from them. I need to hammer these down now. Orange season. So we ordered 10 kilos of oranges from a family member. Orange season in, in Thailand, also very nice right now. Look at the compost, there's already like a bad papaya there from today. It was just, it didn't ripen well. Yes, very nice papaya. Birds eating here. I will cut these parts off. I really like these orange ones. They're so sweet and nice. One pineapple baby. Another pineapple baby.